In many situations, you may want to copy an existing query to save some time. And this can be done in a very easy manner. You simply move to the left where we got the query, press Ctrl C, and then Ctrl V. As you can see, he has created a copy of the query. I can double click on the name or press F2, and then we can name it so we have a different name. Let's call it list with duplicates. And maybe let's remove this step where we remove the duplicates from the list of transactions. So as you can see, we have a copy of the query. It did not impact the original query and we don't have to start from scratch. Now, if we go to close and loads tool, he will again ask us the questions, how we want the data to be shown. So for time being, we will still pick a table. So let's press OK. As you can see, in the list of queries, we have a new query, list with duplicates. Since we have duplicates, it has 49 rows. Without the duplicates, it was 17 rows. Another way to copy the queries is simply to use the list we've got on the right. So we have simple query list uh, without the queries. So let's say we want to have another copy of simple query. We select it, we press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. As you can see, we have new query. We can change the name even from here by pressing F2. Let's call it new simple query. Since we didn't change the steps performed as a part of the query, it has exactly the same steps as the simple query and we get exactly the same result. The last way to copy query is to go to the query menu above. So let's move here to the query and you will have this duplicate. As you can see, it has a created copy of the new simple query and it has opened also the Power Query where we can edit the steps. So that's in short how to copy queries using different methods.